If there's any doubt about the Bugatti Chiron's raise own Detri, it's written right on the steering wheel, on a large blue button emblazoned with one word, engine. Sure, we can wax poetic about the marriage of modern technology to the ancient human craving to express vanity and wealth. Or about how the 1,500 horsepower Chiron is metaphorically the 700 room Chateau de Versailles with tailpipes. How the $3 million price means it is no crazier than hiring an artist to spend four years painting God and Adam and angels and saints on your chapel ceiling. In other words, we could go on and on about how it is an exuberant, untethered overstatement in the service of generating delirious stupefaction, both in the nobles who luxuriate in it and the peasants who revel in its reflected glory drop to be brutally cynical, for that's the last refuge of plebeians who cannot now and never will be able to afford a Chiron. This car is a do-over. It's a reboot of the last decade idea for reviving a slumbering auto boutique with a moonshot engineering project intended to create shock and awe. The 1001 horsepower Veyron 16.4 was the busted sound barrier, the Everest summit, the 4 minute mile. It was the car that went 1 mile per hour faster than a Peugeot P88, the fastest race car on the Mulsanne straight, just because. The benchmarks have all been bested, the hyperbole all belabored. It seems pointless to raise the bar again with another mid-engine two-seat coupe, like enrolling Superman in a CrossFit class in the hopes of widening the gap over those speeding.